Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. We're starting this video off today in the shop because I wanted to show you guys something that I've changed from the last time you would have seen this truck. So I did a video, the last video guys of the sledge, I was upgrading, did the Vitavon bell cranks, all four corners, so the knuckles, C-hubs, rear uh, bearing carriers, and I did a few other things, the center diff housing, and I can't remember what else. But I did take this truck out one night for a quick rip. I think I was going out with my Kronos XTR. I think I did a video on that. And I did bring the sledge. And unfortunately, with the 23 tooth pinion, I just wasn't happy. I wasn't impressed with it. And I also had a huge mishap. Nothing broke. And, but it was kind of a huge mishap. And I'm going to give you guys a hint and see if you can figure it out on your own. During the upgrade video for this truck, on both the front and the rear half, I had kind of was talking about something, how impressed I was with a certain part, the innovation, all that kind of fun stuff, and how I really liked it. However, that saying, and I can't think of right now how it goes, something about the wheel, you know, you don't replace the wheel or whatever, that's a huge, huge hint onto something that went wrong. So again, if you remember that video, and you know what I'm talking about, you know what, right now, comment in the comments. Let me know before you actually get into this video because what I'm going to do is we are going to head out right now, guys, and we're going to test a 21 tooth pinion in the truck. We're going to run it around, and when we get back, I'll let you guys know what, what happened because now that I think about it, as cool and as awesome as I thought it was at the time, uh, it's actually a pretty horrible design. But anyways, guys, let's head out and give this thing a run. All right, guys, we're all set up. We're out at my old kind of usual spot. I've been kind of changing things up lately and just trying different places, going up to my work and stuff. But this is where I've got quite a bit of time in with the truck. So I thought this would be a good place to come, give it a rip. It is an absolutely gorgeous day for September 30th. It's like 22, 23 degrees. So yeah, it is a nice day to be out here. So again guys, we're now down to a 21 tooth pinion. So this thing has had a 25, which was just bonkers, to the 23, which was perfect, crazy insane fast, but still really nice to drive, to now the 21 since we uh, added a little bit extra weight. Anyways, we're gonna work up, get a couple of runs in on the jump, see how we do. Gotta adjust my steering a bit. No, it's not too bad. Oh, I think I was totally hitting the wrong button. Bring this back. Eh, not too bad. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> I was going for brake and I got reverse. Oh, she's fast. Feeling good with the 21. That extra weight definitely... Uh, we could feel it. Oh. Feeling good now though. I gotta admit guys, from the 23 tooth to this 21, there's a, there's a nice difference in the feel. The 23 was just kind of making it not laggy or anything, but I could just feel it. 21, that is now the new sweet spot for this setup with the weight that I've got. Hey, yeah. She feels good again. Oh, 
feels very good again. Definitely liking it. Yeah. It's kind of brought the sledge back to life. And by the way, no cheating. No cheating about what you guys think went, what I was talking about at the beginning of the video because I'm curious to see if anybody else picked up on it. All right, guys, I'm back. Gentlemen wanted to talk for a bit. But we're gonna, we're gonna see how we do now. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. <laughs> I, uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole time it's in the air, I'm holding my breath, hoping everything goes well, but. All right, guys, so that was nice. I, uh, definitely getting a feel for this thing again. I say that just because every time you kind of change it up and you change the weight, the truck does behave different. But it's, it, you know what? Again, guys, I'm gonna say this a few times. Changing it to the 21 tooth pinion, we're still running the 1650, Mama Monster X8S, running it on 6S. Feels pretty good right now. <laughs> Don't know where I am. There I am. It's definitely, guys, like I, every time I drive this truck with the 1650, it's a ripper. And it's, it's, it's fast. We do have stiffer springs in here now too. If you guys didn't watch the video, it's like one sort of stage up from what was in there. So I went up a little bit stiffer on the rear, like in the, in the front and the rear, whatever the spring rates were. Jeez. It's nice though. Control is nice. Truck feels good. There's a few parts I'm still waiting for. I had or have a oh, is it the RPM front bumper on order? It hasn't, it's it's taking its time to get here. <laughs> I think, and I say this. In every video, I still gotta figure out something for my ramp to keep it down because I think it's what's kind of throwing the truck so much is that the, the ramp's kind of shaking as I leave it. It does work better when it's on the grass. It doesn't seem to move around as much more. Oh my God, that was wicked. It felt so awesome. Oh man, this thing is fast, guys. 
and no issues guys at all with stock tires. All right guys, again, you know what? It's funny, I planned on coming out here and taking it easy. The reason I say that is because I redid so much of the truck and I pretty much had everything unbolted from it, I kind of wanted just to come out and drive it around. Now I've already sort of done that. That's when I discovered the pinion issue and the other issue I will talk about at the end of this video. But uh, what can I say guys, I get this truck out and it just, it wants to go, it wants to fly. I think we're good. I can't tell if we're good because I can't see us. Yeah, we're upside down. Eh, we'll flip it. I'm over to the truck when I can't, when I haven't, when I didn't really see the landing. I always kind of do like a little, little look like, hey, is there anything left here? Anything I didn't notice? Oh, there's a little squirrel or something way over there. Oh yeah, sledge is a monster. Well, okay, a monster sledge is a monster. That's, that's probably the better way to word it. Because I was not a fan of this truck when it first came out. It had a lot of issues, but I stuck through it. And you know what guys, I've said this, not everything, done to this truck needed to be done not everything you know certainly quite a bit of stuff guys I did but at the same time there's a lot of stuff that needed to be done big dollar items but if you don't do it you're gonna have problems Oh jeez, oh we're broken guys. You guys probably saw that too. Just the way it came down. <laughs> uh, maybe hinge pin? Cause it looks like the whole bottom of my arm is hanging out. All right, we're gonna get back. All right guys, we've got the truck home. We've got it back on the bench. And as you can see, I already fixed it. So basically what happened was we broke, here it is, this guy. So that was one of the inner hinge pins right here. I had this set, it shows hardened. So I don't know if these, when I bought these, if these are like an option pin or if Traxxas is just saying they're hardened when clearly they are not. But you know what guys, to be fair, it was a horrible landing. I was watching it back when I was putting together the video and I think if I had just kind of blipped the throttle a little bit, I would have brought the buggy kind of like sort of back on a tire. So it still would have been kind of a rough landing, but I wouldn't have had all the focus on this one front corner. But again, the one arm is a little bit mucked up, not too bad. The insert in the hinge pin is also a little bit mucked up, but not too bad. So we'll see how that goes. But everything else, guys, is fine. Now, what I wanted to get to was what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. The sort of catastrophic failure I had. And I'm just curious at this point now. Hopefully, the people that are interested have already commented and thought about it and said, hey, you know, this is probably what it is. I'm gonna tell you now. So, when I was ripping this truck around the first time, I was out and about and I was enjoying it with after I did all the conversion and all the parts, and all of a sudden, one of my tires went flying. So your first thought is wheel nuts. Except when I got to it, the tire, I could see the wheel nut still here. The problem is that with this spline setup, so if you guys remember, there's a set screw in here, you pull that out, this hex comes off, and there's the splined, it's like splined on the axle, and then this is also splined and it fits together. Well, the only thing that holds it together now, because there's no pin, usually you would have a pin that actually would be usually sitting right here on top of the hex. There's no pin. So the only thing that holds your tire and this hex adapter on is the set screw that's in here. Once this set screw, if, if it goes, 
this comes off with the tire attached and the wheel nut attached, it all comes off. So the spline setup, guys, does work great. It's a nice way to connect two parts. There's a lot of strength there. But again, in my opinion, guys, it's kind of a flawed design that they don't have something here also. This is where like a, like a normal hex where the pin would go through and hold on to the axle. I think that is kind of a much needed thing here because just having the one set screw in here is clearly not enough. Now, when I got home that night, guys, I took everything apart again. I cleaned off the set screw and I ended up using red Loctite, put it all back together. And I was out today. I had zero issues. And the, the night that it came off, guys, I was only like a few minutes into the run. So obviously the red, red Loctite is doing its job. But I still think, in my opinion, guys, there should be something here. That extra strength, that kind of second part of strength, that second part that'll help hold everything together would work. But either way, guys, I'm very happy with how the truck felt today. I was kind of worried after the last run when I had that 23 tooth pinion in there and I could, the truck just felt different. I could feel that weight and I was kind of starting to get worried that I had kind of messed up the truck by adding all those parts, by bringing more aluminum into the truck and adding weight. But today, guys, again, going to that 21 tooth, it feels great. It drives great now. It's fast. Uh, still got to get used to a few things, but overall, guys, I'm happy. It's a good looking truck now. It packs punch. It packs a lot of strength and it's just going to be guys. I think it's going to be one of my overall just kind of general bashers. That's going to take what I give it and it's going to have a lot of fun. Just got to get my landings down because like I mentioned guys, I think if I just tapped the throttle just a little bit, I would have brought those. It was still a bit of rough landing, but I would have brought some taken some of the emphasis and the force off that front corner i think i may have been fine that way but either way guys that's it that's all if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up please subscribe have a great day